To compare the structures of cellulose, starch and glycogen, I'm going to use some excellent molecular visualisation software which you can find online called Biomodel 3. I'll give you the reference at the end of the video. Let's begin with cellulose. When you click on the button for cellulose in Biomodel 3, you can observe its linear extended structure. Cellulose is made of a long chain of several hundred to many thousands of beta-glucose units. So that's many glucose molecules linked together and they're linked together with one to four glycosidic bonds. They're called one to four glycosidic bonds because when we look at the glucose molecule, we can number off the six carbons within the molecule. And when we take a closer look at the glycosidic bond, it is carbon number one that is bonded to carbon number four. Moving on to look at starch, we should first know that starch is made up of two other polysaccharides. It's made of amylose and amylopectin. If we first click on amylose, we can see that this linear polysaccharide has a tendency to form a coil and produce a helical structure. One to four glycosidic bonds are found in amylose. However, unlike cellulose, these bonds are found between alpha glucose molecules as opposed to the beta glucose molecules in cellulose. If we now compare this to the other polysaccharide found in starch, amylopectin, we can observe that amylopectin has a branched structure. This is as a result of having both 1 to 4 and 1 to 6 glycosidic bonds. However, like amylose, amylopectin also contains alpha glucose. Distinguishing between the 1 to 4 glycosidic bond and the 1 to 6 glycosidic bond is relatively straightforward. The 1 to 4 glycosidic bond is a bond between carbons number 1 and carbon number 4 in the two glucose molecules as seen here. The 1 to 6 glycosidic bond is between carbons number 1 and carbon number 6 in the glucose molecule as I've also illustrated. Lastly, we can take a look at the structure of glycogen and its structure is virtually identical to that of amylopectin. They both use alpha glucose and they both have 1 to 4 and 1 to 6 glycosidic bonds. The primary difference that you can see here is that the branching occurring in glycogen is much more frequent than that occurring in amylopectin.